Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Goy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And our last video we put up, we had a nice little freeze frame, freeze frame right in the middle of it. Hopefully my my uh, perfect rendition of Jay Giles freeze frame doesn't get us a copyright strike. But uh, do bear with us. Treat it as a podcast at that point. We will be having Random Neighborhood Kid come by and fix it. And I've been saying that for about 14 weeks now. Um, Mr. Magazine. Yes. I was thinking of this the other day. Okay. What is out there that is not that there nearly aren't as many as you would think that there would be? And I'll give you the example that I thought of. Mm-hmm. You know what magazine, and it could be magazines, it could be anything else. Mm-hmm. You know what magazine is actually really hard to come by but shouldn't be for the number that were made? What's that? Police Gazette. Okay. Do you get a lot of those? No, really. I mean, I'll get a drims and drabs, three here, five here, one there, but never a pile of 50. And they're they're really not out there as often as they should be, mm-hmm. given the mass production of them that they had. True. Yeah, I um, agree with that. Are there some other items or, or things like that, whether it be toys, whether it be... Jeez, this, is a, this is a zinger. Well, thank you. I do try. Ah, jeez. Um, hmm. All right, hit the like button, like, and yeah. subscribe. I'm trying to think. Of, well, some because anyone could say, "Oh, vintage Star Wars." Yeah, that's they're, they're out there, but there's not a lot of it. It's vintage, you know, unopened stuff. But I'm trying to think of something current that is you would think there'd be a lot out there, but it's still hard to get. Well, how about I'll give you another example. I've only seen you have one collection of them in all this time, okay. and I think I've come across one. How about homies? Yeah, homies. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, uh, even those all now that you say that those little mini skate boards and the the little skate ramps and skate parks i think a lot of that stuff came out for a year or two and that was it you know so you get you know one shot at it and then if you want them now or if they're unopened crazy money or do you think it could be that the people that bought the homies either they bought a couple of them and that's it or maybe they bought one or two and they think they're cool they're sitting around their house or they don't think that they have collectible value and so they don't bring them in that could be, yeah. But I think, well, let's say you're a little kid and you had it when you were 10 years old. And now you're 25 years old. I'm like, oh, I got some money. I remember those. Oh, I found these in my closet. There's some rare ones I always wanted. I could never get them as a kid. Now I'm going to get them and collect them. You know, if there's a bunch of people like that, they're going to drive the price up of the rare ones at least. You know. So. How about yo-yos? Have you come across very many yo-yos throughout the years? I don't see many yo-yos. Yeah, and, and again, it's not like... And they made a lot of yo-yos. Yeah, it's not like there's a yo-yo dealer to go to that specializes in yo-yos i'm sure there is yeah, somewhere, somewhere but yeah. exactly. but not locally yeah there's no. nobody locally buying all those up i mean and again it just because i was thinking about that i was thinking about that with the police gazette and mm-hmm. i'm like <clears throat> that was a regular magazine that they made a lot of and they made it for mm-hmm. what the early 1900s on huh? yeah they were still mm-hmm. making it into the 1970s yeah that is true and I've got a couple from the 1970s. I think I picked up like eight at one time. And there's probably some from the 70s, the later editions, that they probably didn't make as many as the 50s ones, you know. Yeah, and the ones that I've ever gotten pretty much are the 70s. Yeah. I may have gotten one or two from the 50s. Sure. Um, any other items that you can think of uh, as you're going as you're, as you're going back it's through? The toughest question ever, I think. <laughs> well, I'll give you another one that, and I, and I think I know the reason why, but I collect uh, Adventures of Big Boy comic books. Mm-hmm. They're difficult to find. But I think the reason why on that is because comic dealers aren't going to bring those to shows. Right. Yeah. They may have them. They may pick up 10 and, you know, somebody yeah. or other, it's got 1970s stuff. They got 10 of them. Yeah. They take them and they put them aside, but they never bring them to a show because who's looking sure. for those? And yeah. how many are they going to possibly sell? Uh, we're frozen, but I just came up with one. Go ahead. Uh, I remember when I, when I was a kid. Yep. For whatever reason, I loved the pencils that had the sports teams on them. Oh, yes. And I was collected the football, and for some reason, the baseball was super hard to find. Oh, and everybody had the football, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had a football set, but even that was hard to complete, but then baseball, forget about it. So Didn't they do basketball also? Oh, I've never seen basketball. But no? Yeah, but you would think that, like, all those gold circle plays that had that type of stuff, there would have been a ton of it out there, but there really wasn't, unless it was a regional thing. But uh, I actually just bought, someone brought in a set of brand new football ones. I don't collect that stuff, but I kept them just because of the memories. Like, I thought they were really cool, yeah. you know, so. Well, I, another one that I remember you had picked up along that same um, type of thing was, remember the... Um, Titans movie, DVD? The other thing I was going to bring up was, remember the refrigerator magnets? 
Yeah. You did very, very well. You had, yeah, I believe, yeah. a whole set of the refrigerator yeah, magnets. True. Basketball, I believe you had, yep. and another one. And I was like, I had some displays for them that they came in on the, the shelves. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, they were a little too expensive. I would, I would have <laughs> liked those, but they were a yeah. little too pricey for me to buy I mean, because weird stuff like that. But you know, you had to think every store had ten of them. I mean, why would you know? Why would they? You're not going to get one, but you know, most stores would probably carry that stuff at least for a short period of time. So who knows? Well, and that's another thing, too, actually. That is a, a mm-hmm. bolo that I know some people do make money off of our refrigerator magnets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, some of them do sell fairly well. And trust me, you go to an estate sale, if they haven't taken them down off the refrigerator, they're not asking a lot for them. <laughs> right. <laughs> In fact, if you ask, they'll be like, wait, you want those? Hmm. Really? And yeah. they'll be all surprised. And they'll be like, I, I, I don't know, uh, two bucks takes them all? Does that sound good? <laughs> Because they want them gone. So, you know, those are kind of things. If you could comment down below, things that that you know a lot of were made, but they're just not that easy to find. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll give you another example that just came to mind. Mm -hmm. How many highlights magazines have you come across? Never, and I think a lot of those got thrown out. Every dentist office in the world had those. Yeah, yeah. I'll be gallant, and you can be goofus. Yeah, I guess. I'm sure there's certain issues that people would want for whatever reason, you know. just First appearance of the timber toes. There you go. Oh, gosh, I spent a lot of time in a dentist office, obviously, growing up. Um, I can tell. Wow. But so do comment down below uh, after you hit the like button as well. Let us know the things that, that you just don't see out there that you just absolutely think that you should. Um, you know, just because of the, of the mass production of them. And for whatever reason, people just didn't save them. Be interested to see what you say, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.